Hi everyone, so my name is Midwife Sally. Yes, yeah, so today I have a best story that I want us to discuss and also learn the lessons. Okay, so she said she thought she had Braxton Hicks contractions. You will learn after that. You will really learn what it is after this. Okay, so she says, so it started around midnight with eight minutes between contractions. By morning, the interval decreased to five minutes. So I went to the hospital. So she was having contractions. She started having contractions. When you are pregnant, and one of the things that will show that you are in labor is when you start having contractions. So she started having contractions. It was eight minutes apart later, it decreased to five minutes apart. My contraction was mostly at the front. So I initially thought it was Braxton Hicks, but midwife Sally advised I go to the hospital since I was due, okay? When you are due and you're having consistent contractions, you need to go to the hospital. My contraction was mostly, yes, yeah, so she she actually thought she doesn't have to go to the hospital. When, but when I had a discussion with her, I informed her to go to the hospital. Contraction wasn't painful until I dilated to 5 cm. So when she got to 5 cm, that is when she started feeling what proper contractions are. Around 3.30 p.m., the doctor decided to break my water and that was where the problem started. I started having severe pains, okay? I dilated to 8 cm by 7.50 p.m. But within 10 minutes, I went to 10 cm. She was lucky from 8 to 10 cm was smooth. At 10 cm, I felt a sudden egg to push or felt like pool pain, okay? Sometimes when the baby's head is pressing, you know, because the bowels are there, your anus is there and all that, the baby's head can cause it to feel like you are trying to bring the bowel out, but it can be the baby's head. That is why when you are going to give birth and your midwife is saying that, and you are saying, I feel like going to the washroom, and your midwife will say, please, it's not the washroom, let me just uh, check. It can be your baby's head. So please take note of that. It can be your baby's head. It is not poop, <laughs> okay? Yes, and so she brought her baby out baby finally arrived safely yes yes so that is it as simple as that what i would want the lesson i would want us to learn in this video is what we call Braxton Hicks contraction so in Braxton Hicks contraction what is happening is that you're having painless contractions and um, your tummy your tummy begins to tighten and um it is irregular if you and um, what this video was i talked about the contractions coming at eight minutes apart it became five minutes apart but in Braxton Higgs or false contractions it comes like every one hour then another two hours then another three hours it doesn't come with pain okay and it cannot lead to cervical dilatation it prepares your body for birth it is important though if it is too much you report to the hospital and this one usually happens when you are getting into your third trimester your abdomen starts getting that tightening and it is preparing for the D-Day Yes, yeah, so hope you learned some lesson out of it. Good luck. Please share me your best story in the comment section. And I will definitely come and review it and share the lessons. Thank you. My name is Midwife Sally. Bye.